Hi, in this video we're going to be taking a look at Queen, another one bites the dust, but this time we're going to be taking a look at the live version from uh, Wembley, 1986. There's uh, another version on uh, the Live Magic album, which uh, does differ from this one. Um, so every time it is played live, it uh, was played differently, uh, ever so slightly. Uh, watch out next week, I had a suggestion from Mark S. Knight, who uh, incidentally runs the uh, Killer Queen chat show. Uh, check that out, I'll put a link in the description to that if you haven't already listened to that. Um, he suggested that we do have a look at Silver Salmon, a bootleg by Queen, so we'll be taking a look at that next week. But for this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at Queen, another one bites the dust, live at Wembley, 1986. I've also done a play along with the, uh, the record. Uh, check that out in the description as well, which should help you be able to put everything that's in this uh, tutorial together to be able to play it along with the record. It starts off with um, the main famous riff. do a tutorial for this for the studio uh, version I'll put a link for that one in the description as well so really our introduction is that main riff played through four times so we've got that starts and uh, we're going to play that main riff through a further uh, twice we then come to this uh, section which we're going to play through three times starting on the A string third fret three four five to the fifth of D finishing on the third of the bottom E string string is 5 5 5 6 7 third fret like that so that should sound like this we then go to our main riff just here the seventh fret of the G string being played but ever so light in the mix we then play it further twice we then come to this section F sharp 5 A5 then have an A5 where we play the A, our little finger is on the 5th fret of the B and the E string, then on the 3rd of the bottom A. We then come to our main riff again, which we're going to play through twice. We've got the... When we definitely hear that in the mix, uh, that time it's played, and then we we'll play again. We then come to the, the rhythm guitar. Again, in the mix, uh, it's very light, so we can barely uh, make it out. But um, I've written this out in the in the guitar tab. I've tried to make it simple. Uh, people that I've done guitar uh, lessons with, um, especially a lot of kids, find it rhythmically diff difficult to do. So I've tried to write it out in a simplistic way, which is not necessarily exactly the, the way that it's done um, on the record. That's a simple way of doing it. So we've got that E minor. To an A minor, where we're going to do the fifth frets of the G, the B and the E strings. Slide in from the fourth. We should have that. Like that. 
Like I say, we can hardly hear that in the mix, it is very low. We then come to our... Uh, which we came to before. We then have this... Like that. On the video, uh, we'll actually see Brian May play... He has his fingers like that. So I'm assuming it's a G chord. Um, before I watched the video and I worked it out, I had that used to play in the G. Yeah, there it is. I'll write that out in the tab. Fifth fret of D, seventh fret of G, eighth fret of the B. Sounded like that to me. Obviously, he's playing that, but I couldn't kind of figure out what exactly what he was doing. He was playing that, and my ears or something wrong with them. Um, but you've got that. We're bending that seventeenth up of the G string. Like that. We then back. Then. Which was the so F sharp. Playing the G like that, and going to an E. We then hear an E suspended four, and then we have what we call an interlude. But we hear this kind of G being played ever so slightly in the background, which lasts for the interlude. After that, we have this. Something like that, where we have this on the A string, we're going to be twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twelve, D, back to the fourteenth of A. Bending the 12th fret of the B and the G up, landing on the 14th of D and G. We then have this. Again, it's very light in the mix, so you cannot hear exactly, or at least I couldn't, um, but we're going to do that. 14, 12, 10 on the A, 12th fret of the B and the G. Is that a little deviation? Then we back there. We then have this. Again, hammering on from the, the 12th fret of the bottom A, 12, 13, 14. 12th D, then coming down 14. 12, 12, 12. Like that. We then have yeah, on the E minor just after that. We then have this phrase which is like a dive bomb type of thing. Again we're playing that G in that position. Then here, like this pre bend on the seventh fret of the G. Definitely here in the mix this time. We then run through our back to our main riff. Five to 
the A. We then come back to our rhythm guitar. us to the end. So as always thank you for watching. I hope that helps you be able to play another one Bites the Dust live at Wembley 1986.